This is a book review of the greatest Golden Age stories ever told. And this is from DC Comics. Includes obviously Superman, Batman, Robin, Flash, etc. Flash, not in a way that, of course, we know him now, but you've got the Green Lantern, as well as Wonder Woman, and many, many others, and Plastic Man as well. Obviously a character that was from Quality Comics. What's it got? Well, it's just a great story. 1990 this came out, and it covers stories 1939 to 1950. That's their definition of the golden age. You've got a couple of great essays at the front where you've got sort of discussions. Slam, Bradley, Scribbly, The Sandman, etc. First story is not Superman. You've got Boy Commandos. Now, this isn't the first appearances. So you've got not, it's not the first appearances of things. So you've got like Jack Kirby, Joe Simon. You've just got a story that they think is the greatest. This is not DC firsts. Now, that would be a brilliant book. I'd love that. So you ever bring that one out? Joe Simon, obviously Jack Kirby, Boyd Commander's brilliant stuff, completely daft. However, they did love Boyd groups like Young Allies, etc. And many others, newspaper gangs, and what Legion, those sort of things. Batman, with, and it doesn't include every single superhero that was of DC, because they produced a lot. There's lots of minor characters that never, never get into the greatest. So it's not first appearances. Or all appearances. Dick rang for the Batman. Why the city sleeps. Now it's been cleaned up, but they they're not over <clears throat> in your face artwork. I mean it's it's very muted. The colours fine, but it's not. It's near enough looking like as if the comics were of the time, with a bit of obviously superior colouring, and they're really quite well restored. And inking quality is pretty decent. In most cases, there's some that's a bit rough, I have to say. Hawkman's in it. Great story there. I love the Hawkman character. And that was obviously the Flash. That was, doesn't, that's one thing it doesn't say. Obviously, contents page. By Shelley. Plastic Man. Now, I loved Plastic Man. Those Plastic Man archives, DC archives. Brilliant, brilliant stories. Jack Cole, who was obviously in things like police comics, back all the quality comics. I love, but I've got quite a few issues of Plastic Man in super tatty, because they're really, they're quite expensive, but you can pick them up relatively cheaply if they're falling to pieces. And they're just great stories. Plastic Man was so inventive. I just loved the way he was, he would turn up in many different, he really used his power amazingly. You got, the Wildcat, Ted Grant story. Now, a lot of these appeared in odd, oddball issues, like Sensation Comics and All-American Comics, those sort of things. Most of them didn't have their own. There wasn't no comic called Wildcat Comics, sadly. Black Canary. Now, that was, of course, the Flash, all probably Flash Comics. And now, that one is a later story because initially she was with Johnny Thunder. So you've got Kid Eternity. I love these ones where you've got these beautiful ads. It's in black and white, this bit. You've got ads showing the big six. You've got Star Spangled comics, all American comics, Avenger comics. I just love those names. Many of these existed for a long period of time. A lot, obviously, Star Spangled comics. But that doesn't exist anymore. I'm certain it doesn't. Let's say read, read, pull that out. Flash comics, Avenger comics, let's say. Kid Eternity, Scribbly. So you've got a lovely Scribbly here, Sheldon Mayer. Brilliant. Loved the Scribbly stories. Love to see a Scribbly collection come out. Green Lantern, The Icicle. They didn't really have many villains that I think were particularly substantial, but The Icicle was a decent one. I mean, it's got a guy who's basically the Iceman. Jack Frost kind of character. It was good. You got the Sandman. Sandman story. The Flash. The Rise and Fall of the Norman Empire, which is actually a pretty good story. A really decent, decent story. Of course, all resolved by the Flash. Starman, the Mist. What's next, Master? Sort of stuff. The Spectre. Brilliant. Jim Corrigan. You also got the Green Arrow, the Red Feather Kid. I wonder what happened to the Red Feather Kid. Anyway, it was just a public service one. Vigilante. Then you got a, this one. A bit of an unusual, very, the artworks, Slam Bradley. 
by obviously the people that went on to with Superman. And it's very wordy, of course, the very, very, very sparse artwork. It's the sort of Batman, uh, Batman, sort of Superman sort of story. But without obviously being from Krypton. Black Condor, yet another quality comics character. See, obviously with the Nazis this time. Again, another uh, of the adverts, and you can actually see even more in this. Sensation comics, more fun comics. Johnny Quick, I love it. And they got quite a few of those adverts as well. So Johnny Quick one, the magic formula where he could, I think that old, I think Johnny Quick should be back. I don't know why he's, he's just, like Jesse Quick in the TV series. I think Johnny Quick should be. You got Superman, returns to Krypton. Actually looking more like Superboy, frankly, in that picture there. But um, you got there, and then you got into, oh, what character is this one? Oh, that's Robot Man. Now, Robot Man, of course, Doom Patrol, this is not the same one, but uh, I, I quite like the, again, Robot Man, great character, quite fun series of its time. Black Hawk, of course, wasn't again. This one again, oh, coloured by Greg Thigston. Again, obviously being really lovely stored, brilliant colours. And Wonder Woman. I loved HG Peter. The artwork. I've got the omnibus editions, the Golden Age Wonder Woman. I just think they're absolutely brilliant of their time. Superb, superb stories. Mutt and Jeff. Now, Justice Society of America. So you've got the Justice. This is the probably classic. Well, they did one that I think was there was a the gangs involved that was quite good, where you had all the youngsters, the, the something of America, the soul of America. But in this one, you've got the Injustice Society of the World. Not even America, of the world. They went for a bit more. So that's your Justice Society of the World. It's Justice Society of America. But great stories. They went off and fought different. They, they did a split stories. They did a lot of that sort of stuff. So you had the Flash would be battling various people. And then the, what are you waiting for? Think up. You had the brain or whatever. And the atom. The atom was pretty, he didn't cause country. It was uh, he was uh, just a guy with he had a bit of super strength, I think, later. So great story. One of the just ran the whole thing off. Brilliant, brilliant Justice Society story. I love the Justice Society of America. They definitely need an omnibus edition. End notes, classic, just an absolutely brilliant. You can find this book, Golden Age Stories Ever Told. Just brilliant, brilliant volume.